Madam Chair, Mr. Commissioner, dear colleagues, Kazakhstan ranks 157th in the World Press Freedom Index. The state control over the freedom of speech in modernizing and moves on online space seeking to censor and control internet. Bloggers, opinion makers and social media users are being silenced with long-term prison sentences and confinement to psychiatric clinics. Corruption among ruling elites prevails. The country ranks 94th in the Transparency International Corruption Perception Index and further impedes the human rights, social justice and social economic development. Despite Kazakh's authorities' promise to improve the human rights record under the Enhanced Partnership and Cooperation Agreement with the EU, despite acceptance of more than 200 recommendations provided by the UN Human Rights Council and despite long-standing OSCE ODIR recommendations and recent findings of the ODIR Limited Election Observation Mission, the human rights violations in Kazakhstan are taking place on a daily basis. We are alerted and deeply concerned about the shrinking space of civil society, particularly the cases of several human rights organizations. Those activities were suspended and fined on alleged violations and the crackdown against the independent trade unions. Even more worrisome situation is with peaceful uh, opposition movements, Democratic Choice of Kazakhstan and Koshe Partiasi, as their members and supporters dominate the list of political prisoners. Last year, five political activists, including Dulat Agadil and his 17 years old son, have died as a result of illegal actions and political repression by law enforcement and intelligence agencies. Human rights defenders in Kazakhstan are under constant intimidation, harassment and threat of criminal charges. For example, Elena Semenova is being persecuted for exposing torture in prisons. Raigul Sadirbayeva for helping activists to defend the rights. Anna Shukeva and her husband Burzan Aturbayev for aiding politically prosecuted persons. Recent actions of Kazakh government, when few political prisoners were released, the fines and suspension of activities for several NGOs were removed is much welcome, but does not fulfill its commitments. It must be clear that the European Union seeks for cooperation with Kazakhstan, but puts respects for human rights and democracy above economic gains. Thank you.